This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Continuing along our theme of useful Excel functions, I'd like to now explore average. So using the average sheet within the formula introduction workbook, where we have our pieces of fruit, we can look at working out the average. Now, when it comes to working out the average, there are, in mathematical terms, three averages. There is the mean, the mode, and the median. Now, we can work out the mean, the mode, and the median for our banana list of numbers, for example. To work out the mean, it's actually equals average. And you can see as you start to type, there's a few average functions, but I'm after the raw average function. Same mechanics for any function here, equals, name of the function, open brackets, and the range you would like to do that function to. I don't need to close those brackets. And we have a mean, an average of 2.14286. Quite accurate. Let's reduce the number of decimal places on the home ribbon. We can reduce that to say two. So our family have eaten on average 2.14 bananas each day. The average or the mean, which in Excel terminology is effectively the same thing, is adding up the contents, so taking our seven cells there, adding them up and dividing by how many numbers there are. So it will have summed these, which if I highlight, I can see down here, the sum is 15 and divided by how many there are, which is seven. Seven into 15 goes 2.14285743. So down here on the status bar, I can actually see all three values. The mode is another way of dealing with the average, which is equals mode, open brackets, same range of numbers, so our banana consumption. Don't need to close that bracket, it'll do it itself. Return, and the mode is one. The mode is the most frequently occurring number in a list. And in our case, that's a one. So most often, we would only have one banana in a day. The median equals median, open brackets. The same range, so it's still our banana consumption for the week. No need to close the brackets. Excel will do that again been very helpful return the median is two the median is the mid value so effectively looking at this list of numbers you would take off the lowest value which is zero take off the highest value which is six take off the next lowest value which is one take off the next highest value which is three take off the next lowest value which is one take off the next highest value which is two and then we're left with a single value of two which effectively is now the median the number in the middle now when it comes to averages Probably the most used one would be average, the one that works out the mean, but the other two can be quite useful. So we can see we've got average, adds them all up, and divides by how many there are. Mode, the most frequently occurring number in the list. Median, the midpoint value, taking all of the numbers as digits rather than actual values. And I can hide those formulas. Now I could take those three formulas all in one go. So I highlight the three of them, take the fill handle and drag them across all the way to strawberries. And you can see it then works out the mean for apples, the mode for apples, and the median for apples. And the same for pears, peaches, plums, and strawberries. Now we see a slight error message in the mode for strawberries. And by NA, that means not applicable, there is no mode. So in the list of strawberry consumptions, there is no single number that repeats any more than any other. In fact, they're all separate digits. If I were to change that, eight to a five, then we would have a mode because there would be two days with a five in. So the average has three mathematical functions. The most frequently used really is the average one. You can see that there equals average of a range, adds a molum, divides by how many there are. Mode, most frequently occurring number. Median, the number in the midpoint.